Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. A little double filming today. So, I'm wearing the same watches that you probably saw in the last video. My pre-ceramic Rolex and uh, Concord. I, I guess if you didn't see the other video, then they're new to you, so I'll show them to you anyway. When I started um, producing, designing the that uh, ISL 363039, the Saab Rolex kind of crossover watch. Um, I did it with the bezels to be removable. Uh, so, so that I could easily switch the design from smooth to fluid to any other design I wanted. Um, you know, relatively easily with the same, keeping the same case, you know, parts compatibility is key. And then I was like, wait a second, the, the SRPE 40 millimeter watches, the Dress KX, the Seiko KXs that came out, uh, I don't know, earlier, uh, it was kind of towards the end of the last year, excuse me. I, they were a big hit. I realized, wow, those bezels are removable because they have a brushed and a polished one. It's like, hmm, I could probably make a fluted bezel for it, and that would be awesome. So, no, the Islander bezels are not compatible with the Seiko bezels, so don't, don't even think about that. It's not the purpose of me saying it. It's kind of just giving the inspiration. So what I'm going to show you today is uh, two fluted bezels that will work with your SRPE Dress KX Seiko 5 watches, those 40 millimeter dress watches, and you'll see them in a minute. A uh, little know-how, little tools, and uh, you'll be rolling. So let's check them out. So I don't intend for this video to be a tutorial. I know I'm long overdue on watch and learn. It's been a lot of stuff going on, um, you know, on the business side. Uh, but I, I feel like with the tools and tricks and instructions I've already given you in the past and what I'll show you in this video, I really think that all the knowledge is out there and you'll know how to do it. If you want to tackle it, I've said this in other modding videos, if you're not comfortable doing this, for goodness sakes, don't do it. Because you will be removing the bezel which takes the crystal with it um, and then, so now you're looking at dial and hands. All it takes is one ill-placed finger and there go the hands, there goes the dial, a one ill-placed spot of dust, you will put it back together, and you will forever be looking at that dust, take it apart, and then you'll probably break it at some point. I have a stock um, Seiko in my left hand. I think it's stock. It, I'm not sure if it has sapphire in it. This was kind of in one of my... It's not, not a junk bin. I think I've done stuff to this. Um, uh, it might have a sapphire in it, sa flat sapphire. I don't know. It doesn't matter, though. It's very close to being stock. Um, this guy, though, was the blue dial, and I did change the bezel to the fluted, and I did give it a double dome sapphire. So I sell crystals for this watch in double dome and flat, okay, with AR. Very nice. So I changed this guy to fluted bezel dome sapphire whatever you want to do if you change the bezels like i'm going to show you um it's your choice you can keep the stock hard lex if you want or you can upgrade uh to a flat sapphire or you can upgrade to a double dome it does not matter so let's talk for a moment about what comes when you buy the bezel so presto it's open so i'm only gonna i'm gonna open the gold one just to show you what you get so you get a fluted bezel, whether it's gold or silver, your choice. Uh, they're both the same price, 29 bucks. Okay. This is not like a conventional snap-on bezel that you use for um, an SKX diver. I got this idea to swap them out when I came out with that Salex Sarbass kind of watch that I released, the ISL 36, 38, 39 that I released uh, about six weeks ago or so. Um, I was like, wow, Seiko is making these bezels pop off because some of them are brushed and some of them are polished on their watches. I'm like, well, why don't we just make them, why don't I make my own and make it fluted? And maybe somebody wants to have a fluted bezel. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. But anyway, so it's a bezel, but it's more than a bezel. These bezels have no crystal. I know people like that. Uh, it's got two gaskets in it. You've got a gasket for the crystal. This is where the crystal seats, obviously, right? Right here. You see this white gasket? And then it's got a gasket on the back side. This, is, this part presses into the case, and I'll show you all this in a minute. I also give you the same two gaskets in black. Why? Well, it's totally up to you. The bottom gasket obviously doesn't matter, but for, but for, for completeness sake, I included it. The top gasket, once you press the crystal in, um, if you use the white one, um, I think this guy used a white one. Not, yeah, use a white one. You can see a white ring around, this, around the outside. 
Okay, and then this guy, you know, this guy has the black one. So it's really your choice, whichever one you want. I believe stock is black. Um, Seiko stock is black. So that's why I kind of gave you the choice of which one you wanted to use. Um, oh, I know people are going to ask. They asked on Instagram. Yes, I know there's no analog here. Uh, some poor soul <laughs> was lacking an end, an end link, an end lug. Um, so, yeah, I kind of went to one of the watches I had done this to. And I said, I'll just give you the one off of here. So enjoy it. So, uh, order of operations here, right? You're going to take the bezel, and you're going to remove it. How do you remove the bezel? Well, there actually is a gap underneath the bezel, between the bezel and the case. It pops off. The crystal will be in the bezel still. You don't have to go to a press. Turn it over. Press out the crystal. Okay? Then, important, you must use my gaskets. Do not use the gaskets that are in the bezel already. You must use mine, okay? You'll press the crystal into your new bezel, and then you'll press your crystal into the watch. It makes sense, right? I think so. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could press the bezel in first, then do the crystal. I'm not sure I would do that, though, because the hands are there and stuff. It doesn't sound like a winning combination for, uh, for no disasters. So take off the old bezel, um, you can kind of use whatever you want. I'll start with my Bergeon tool that I have and just kind of, I like this because it's nylon. It starts the job. It's a rather expensive tool though. Don't get it if you're not, if you're not like doing this as your full-time job. I got a little raise in the case. I should be able then to just, hopefully, let's see. Da -da. There it comes. Okay. okay, so bezel, crystal, dial and hand do not touch. And then basically, um, you see, it's got keen. There's, there are two keying pins here at the top and the bottom. There's two keying holes at the 12 and the 6. Um, I forgot to mention the chapter ring is also in the bezel, you do need to reuse the chapter ring. Okay, you see that? So you pick out the chapter ring, put it in the new bezel, um, press out your crystal or use the new crystal if you buy a new crystal. Goes in here, okay? And then this whole thing, imagine there's a crystal on here now, will just seat like that and then you'll just, let me just press this in. I'm not going to press it in, though, because I'm going to put the old one back on. Um, and that's how it would look. I mean, imagine if you had a, uh, a <laughs> chapter ring and a crystal there. Uh, but that is the whole thing. It does look, oh, I'm kind of snappy, aren't I? I'm not going to press it, though. Gold. Silver. I imagine the gold will not be all that popular. There's only a few two-tone um, Seiko 5 models. But uh, that's it. So I'm going to take this guy off and I'll put the old guy back on. I should mention um, the chapter ring goes in crystal side. That's why the chapter ring didn't fall out. Pull out the crystal, pull out the chapter ring, reinstall. You'll be good to go. Um, like I said, if you're handy, um, this one is actually relatively easy. When you're done, you just press, you know, press this back on with a case press. Um, it'll, it'll press fit, obviously, again, with the gaskets that come on it. Um, I think that's Gonna about wrap it up. Uh, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you how to upgrade the bezel on your Seiko 5. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. Questions or comments, put them down below. I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.